All right, so here I am about to attempt to snowboard. Uh, I have snowboarded before, courtesy of one of my dads, James. He took me uh, a couple of years ago. I had a couple of basic lessons as well, so I did actually learn how to snowboard. By the end of those lessons, I was actually kind of getting the hang of it. I could kind of go where I wanted to go deliberately and stuff. Wouldn't fall over. It's good. But um, I've elected not to take any lessons this time and hoping that I can just pick it straight back up again. Um, and I'm going to let you know how that goes because it could go horribly, horribly wrong. I think I'm remembering all of the particular bits of advice that I was given pretty well. I don't think I'm missing much. Um, but, you know, it'll all come out in the wash. I'm going to find out one way or the other. Um, yep. So I'll give you a quick look at where I'm skiing and then I will say goodbye. Right, here you go. This is the beginner's slope in Anna, uh, in the Seco, it's called the Anapuri slope. Anapuri slope, that's it. Um, yeah, it is it's very simple, very easy going. We'll see how I go. There you go. All right, fingers crossed. Hopefully I don't break a leg. That would, that would kind of ruin the day. Anyway, ciao! So quick update. It turns out I can pick it straight back up. I've had absolutely no troubles. It's been great. Uh, so I've come to higher up the mountain uh, and gonna try and go for some slightly more challenging slopes and hopefully not kill myself. And if I get confident enough and if I get sure enough, then I'll try and give you some video of me while I'm going down the slope. And we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'll do it. That's a big maybe. It's a really big maybe. But it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll give you a quick look at the view from up here. And then I'm going to go for another snowboard. As much as it is beautiful, uh, I feel like once you've seen one snow, one snowscape, you've pretty much seen them all. So... I won't bother you too much with uh, the views, but yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, catch us. Okie dokie. I'm going to do this silly thing and try and do some recording while I'm snowboarding. Let's see how this goes. I don't think it's going to go well, but we'll see. Make any promises about that though, because I don't want to. Um, yeah, all right. There you go, I stacked it. <laughs> All right, well, uh, I think we'll, we'll end that endeavor, but it was fun, and I haven't hurt myself, and I, have, I don't think I've hurt the phone, so it was worth it. It was good fun. Catches. Hello, I am at the end of my snowboarding day. It's been great. Uh, I've gotten infinitely better than when I started, and a lot better than the last time I snowboarded. So I'm pretty happy. I'm, I'm quite pleased with myself. I was hoping to get one run down the mountain where I just never fell over. Um, but that didn't happen. I fell over twice on my last run. And not bad stacks either. Man, you should have seen some of the stacks that I had today. I did a couple of somersaults. If they'd been deliberate, I'd have been very happy. But they weren't. Uh, and they were a little bit painful. Just, just a little bit painful. I almost look like I've been sunburned. I don't know if it's that I have been sunburned or if that's just like how your face goes when it gets really cold. It could be either. Um, yeah. It was awesome. My body is very stiff. My poor feet are very, very sore. 
my lead foot, which is my left foot, it's just been crushed by my shoe the whole day long. It was very, very uncomfortable. I kept coming in here to take my shoes off for like 20 minute periods because it was that painful. But it was worth it. It was, it was great. <sighs> anyway, I'll let you guys go. I'm exhausted. I'm probably going to sit in a hot spring tonight and just relax. And it's going to be great. Ciao.